Are you ready to stop the self-sabotage and create the life you desire? Well, in order for that to happen, you need to break free from the bad beliefs that are holding your success hostage. You need to optimize the stress by turning it into extra energy for success. And those hurtful habits? Well, we need to give that pain a purpose for progress. Welcome to Stop the Self-Sabotage and Create the Life You Desire podcast. So how does it make you feel whenever you're really, really upset and someone tells you, I don't see what the big deal is. Why, why don't you just calm down? We'll find a way to work through this. I don't know about you, but when someone tells me to calm down, I'm going, they'll never find your body. I'll be able to cut it up so small that there won't be any evidence. <laughs> Are we open to suggestions of calming down when we're really upset? No. Why is that? Because the suggestions don't go along with the emotional state we're in. See, you'll only accept suggestions based on how you're feeling. And if you're ticked off and someone tries to give you the suggestion that's counterintuitive, no, you won't go along with it. But if you're upset and someone goes, wow, yeah, that, that looks like it really bothered you. Now you're open to suggestions of going, yes, it did. And then after that, someone could go, well, tell me what happened. What, what's going on? And then you share a little bit more. And then they're like, okay, yeah. Sound like this one point was, was where it got stuck for you. I wonder what might be done about that. And now you're going to be open to those suggestions because you were validated, because there was worthiness that it was okay for you to be upset, because they're giving you freedom of choices and they're creating certainty around your experience. It's known as the core four. So what does all of this have to do with hypnosis? Well, there's a lot of hype going on about it right now as far as um, uh, cases coming out where it's helping people with some pretty severe uh, medical issues such as cancer. Um, I know what I call the traveling road shows are really hitting it where they go from town to town this time of year and try to bring people in and mass and work with them on maybe behavioral modification on stop smoking and weight reduction. And does all of that really help? Well, what I want to share with you today is let's go beyond the hype and let's figure out can hypnosis really help you and can hypnosis actually hold you back in some cases? So what is hypnosis? Hypnosis is simply a state of heightened suggestibility. But you'll only accept suggestions that go along with that emotional state that we were talking about earlier. So if you're upset, You'll go along with suggestions that will discover why you're upset, what happened, and then only after that will you be looking at ways that you can move through that upset to what's on the other side. But if you're relaxed, if you're at ease, if you're feeling good, then you'll accept suggestions that are going to help you feel even better, which is the reason why almost every single hypnotist will start off with what's known as a body scan to be able to relax you before they try to start to do any work with you. Now, there are some hypnotists out there that do what's known as rapid inductions, 
nothing wrong with that. I usually call them production line hypnotists because they want to get you in and out as quick as possible so they can get to the next one. So they don't necessarily put you in a relaxed state. They put you in a state to where your mind is, is trying to think of a lot of different things all at once. And then they start delivering suggestions that go, oh, this is the line of thinking that you should have. Okay, great. I don't do that with my clients. I'm what's known as a rapid results focusing on the core four hypnotist. And I feel like it's not my job to tell you what to think. It's to teach you how to think for yourself and to be able to do that, putting you in a relaxed state. So we make it even easier for you to relax into success. Well, that's the way I work. Nothing wrong with the other hypnotists. It's just that we have two different ways that we work. And I feel like everything should be customized to you. And that customization also follows along the line of let's feel good about this. Now, with that being said, can you accept suggestions that could actually have you violate your values? No, you'll only accept suggestions that you will feel benefit you. 16 years ago, whenever I was becoming certified, I had a house full of teenagers. I thought, you know, let's test it out. So I tried hypnotizing them to be my minions, <laughs> clean the house, right? Do the laundry, the dishes, at the very least, do their room. Nope. Wouldn't go along with it. But see, there's the challenge is because you'll never accept a suggestion that violates your values. But right now, you're holding some values that we're going to talk about in just a little bit that are actually not correct. You you are holding on to previous programming that tells you that life is going to be too hard. You're going to screw up, that it's always going to be painful, that who do you think you are? And so you will not accept suggestions that will violate those values until the values are upgraded. Oh, by the way, if you're new to my world, uh, who the heck am I? Don Ferguson. I am a certified hypnotist. And as I said, I am a rapid results hypnotist through the core four. I feel like everything that we do together should be completely customized to you and your unique brilliance, which is the reason why when you come in to work with me, this is not going to be 45 minutes in and out. It is going to be two hours of in-depth revealing you at your brightest things that you didn't even know that you possessed. I'm also a certified instructor. I train others in not just becoming a hypnotist, but rapid results hypnotists through the core four. And I'm a rapid results coach, which is the reason why if you work with me, you are going to get same day results. This is not something that's going to take months, weeks, even days. You are going to leave your session with what I call an up upgraded identity. Let's talk about that upgraded identity. Hypnosis is typically used for what's known as behavioral modification because it taps into the part of your mind known as your subconscious that runs all of your habits and patterns. So you've got two parts to your mind. You've got the conscious, which is also known as the executive functioning center. And it makes all of your decisions. It decides good, bad, right, wrong, forward, backward. And then you've got your subconscious. Your subconscious is the computer that is supposed to run the program based on what the conscious mind has decided. But there comes in the challenge. Because over 80% of who you are as an adult was accepted by age eight through the subconscious. Not based on your brilliance, but based on the people around you that were in authority, who they needed you to be for them to be okay in life. Whew. 
So hypnosis is excellent for behavioral modification. What we've all heard about the stop smoking, the weight reduction, maybe test taking, uh, sleeplessness, even fears and phobias. But while that addresses the actions, which are the simplest thing to upgrade in hypnosis, what about how you feel? And what you were focusing on that was causing that bad habit. And that's when we get into, could hypnosis hold you back? See, every habit you have, both good and bad, is there for a reason. And if you take out a bad habit, that's excellent. But why was it there? Why was the weight there to begin with? Was it a layer of protection because of some trauma you had been through earlier in life? Why Why was the inability to pass the test there? I had one client that I worked with that uh, it looked like it was going to be simple behavioral modification on her passing a test to get her uh, financial license. And after the test was over with, she had her aha moment. And that moment was the reason why she wasn't passing the test is because the man that she was married to at the time said, good, as soon as you pass the test, I'm going to quit my job and you can make so much money, you can support us. Not only did she not want to support him, she wasn't even sure she wanted to stay married to him, which is the reason why she had already failed the test twice. And before she was going to ever pass that test, she was going to have to make decisions about that marriage and what she was going to do in the relationship. I had somebody who had tried multiple ways to become a healthy non-smoker. All of them had failed over 30 years working with him in hypnosis. His aha was the fact that he had grown up on a farm out in the middle of nowhere. And he had made a promise to himself whenever he got to the big city, he was going to do whatever it took to make friends And when he finally did get off that farm and get into the big city and got a job working as a mechanic, well, all of the other mechanics would take their breaks together as smoke breaks. Well, that's what friends do. So that's what he thought he had to do to get and keep friends. Although here it was decades later and none of his current friends smoked, the part of him that had put in that habit to start with and said, this is how I get friends, was still operating from that level of maturity. So you can take out habits all you want utilizing hypnosis, and it'll be very effective for that habit. But has it improved the overall quality of your life when that habit was there for a reason? Have you discovered what was the reason? And here they are. Certainty, freedom, worthiness, and validation. It's what's known as the core four. And you were conditioned to get these reasons, also known as emotional needs. You were conditioned to get these emotional needs met, 80% of them, by age eight. And most of it was dysfunctional because each one of these has a healthy aspect to it and each one has an aspect that is going to hold you down. Certainty. You know, it's really interesting that people who have what some call panic and anxiety, I'm not supposed to use those terms because they denote the fact that you're supposed to be on drugs. So how about if we call it emotional flooding? Many people who experience emotional flooding can discover in a hypnosis session when it is done based on getting that need met is that they were taught certainty and that to have certainty in life, which is the core level, you can't go any further until that's met. To get that certainty, you have to rely on other people, places, and things. And so they have what's known as emotional entanglement with their families they have a hard time separating from that first family and they get hooked back in to what's going on because they were taught 
that they weren't supposed to stand on their own two feet, that they were supposed to only move forward if the entire family could move forward. And every time they try to establish themselves as unique individual, guess what happens? Mm -hmm. That emotional flooding shows up. So what's on the healthy side of certainty is where you learn to take that emotional flooding and ride the waves because it's not going to go away. So you actually use that overwhelm to lift you up to greater heights of success with less effort. Can that be done? I've been doing it for 16 years. Okay. Then after that, there's freedom. Freedom says that uh, on a healthy way, we have choices on how we're going to move forward. On an unhealthy way, there's going to be a lot of drama. This is when everything is going to have to be so hard that, yeah, you're eventually going to get there. But, oh, my gosh, what did you have to go through in order to experience that freedom? Each one of these levels have what's known as a core wound. On uncertainty, the core wound was abandonment. Afraid that if you get out there and stand on your own two feet, that what you need and the people you need in your life are going to abandon you. Well, at this level of freedom, it's rejection. And you're actually rejecting the very things that can help you have success quicker, faster, and easier because you've been taught that you need to add all sort of crisis, chaos, and drama to what's going on. Mm -hmm. And then the level after that is what's known as worthiness. Now, worthiness, again, can show up in one of two ways. The healthy way is let's you and I pair together and create something significant. We can do more together than we can apart. But then the dysfunctional side of worthiness says, look at me. I either need to be a martyr or I need to be kind of a narcissist or narcissistic tendencies in order to earn my worth. In other words, I either need to martyr myself and give up everything so I can make it okay for you. Or narcissistic tendencies, I need to save you. Man, this is a tough way to live. I I know I've been through all four levels. Most of us have, but then we revert to our very favorite dysfunction and repeat it again and again in life. When you are coming from a dysfunctional level of worthiness, All you will do is constantly seek out people, places, and things that either need you to give everything up so you can save them or that you constantly have to make it okay for others, that you're always going to be the smartest one in the room. Well, you can't ever get anywhere if you're not around people that you can learn from. Okay. And then the very last one, validation. Oh, worthiness, yet the core wound on that is unworthiness. Again, your habit, uh, dysfunctional, whatever's holding you back, was put into place for a reason. It gets one of these needs met. And until you learn how to get it met in a healthy, functional way, you can get rid of your bad habits all you want, and you'll just have another one show back up because you were conditioned to get it met in a way that holds you back. Okay, so the last one, validation. That shows up in two ways. Uh, We have validation with love. This is the beginning levels of leadership. No one can do to you what you haven't already done to yourself. So this is where you learn to take care of yourself and then model that behavior for others because what you do speaks louder than any words you can ever say. So this is when you step into leadership of your life. But you've been taught to actually hold yourself back so others don't feel bad about themselves. So the other side of validation is connection. I was working with a woman that had plateaued on her weight. She couldn't figure out why. Why all of a sudden did it stop? Well, Utilizing hypnosis, 
she received her aha moment. Oh, well, I can't let go of any more weight because sissy and mommy are feeling bad because that they're, they're still heavy. And so I need to stay heavy so they won't feel bad. Okay. And yes, did it come through in that type of language? It sure did, because it came from the age she was at whenever the original imprint took place, which was the original belief that this is how I need to be. And utilizing hypnosis, utilizing something known as parts therapy for inner conflict resolution, are able to free that younger part of her from having to fulfill an unwritten contract with mommy and sissy and instead find other ways to love them instead of staying heavy. And at this level, you're taught invalidation. You're taught the core wound that stand back, don't shine, don't be in the spotlight, Continue to serve others by giving them your focus, your feelings, your actions. And at this level, you will bargain on the behalf of others in your own mind. You'll bargain on the behalf of others in a way that will continue to hold you back in your relationships. Your previous programming will not go away. It is always going to be there. So what can you do about it? You upgrade it. You build on what's already there. Right now I'm reading an author who is known as one of the fittest men in the world. And he talks about the pain that he has to go through and the different competitions that he enrolls in. Uh, What's interesting is the childhood stories that he shares and the intense abuse that he went through and the pain that was there. But you see, he gave his pain a purpose. He said, I want to find out what are the limitations, not just of my body, but of my emotions and my mental capabilities. And I want to go past them. So, yeah, he hurts, but he's learned to transcend that hurt because he gave his pain a purpose. It is the same way with you and your core four, whatever area is holding you back. It is not enough just to get rid of a bad habit. If you've been with me this long, you understand why. Because you'll just find another way to get that emotional need met that's going to be dysfunctional. So instead, let's discover together what that need was and how you can move forward with it in a way that actually supports you. It pedestals you and your next level of success. One of my core wounds was worthiness. The first year I was in business, oh my gosh, I was working 80-hour weeks. I didn't even break through uh, $8,000. I was stuck at the $7,000 level. Why? Because I was taught in my upbringing that to be of service to people was the greatest thing that you could do, but that you shouldn't make any money at it. And I lived that belief. Well, worthiness is still at my core. But what I do now is I use that to show you just who you really are, what you're capable of doing, how we can work together and make this all about you reaching the next level of success. So that's now how I achieve significance at the worthiness level is by working with you and helping you understand all of the levels and then how you can use them to reach greater heights of success with less effort. That's how I utilize hypnosis. So now you've got a choice. You can go to a production line hypnotist who is going to help you with that behavioral modification. But I believe you deserve more. 
I believe that you can go so much further, faster. But how far can you really go? How do you know? Let's find out in a simple no charge consultation where I will give you at least one tip, tool, or technique that you can use without ever having to work with me privately. I'll give you one tip, tool, or technique that you can begin to use to upgrade your identity right away. Because I still come from a level of worthiness that says, I need to earn the right to be in your life. I'm not just going to show up and go, hey, yeah, give me some money. This is what I can do. No, let me prove it to you with our very first consult. So how do you access that consult? One of three ways. You can go to my website, canhypnosishelpyou.com, and you'll see there how you can register for it. Or you can call or text me. If you're texting, say consult and give my name, Dawn. So it's me that responds back and not one of my associates. And you can either call or text to 636-699-7791. Can hypnosis help you? Can it assist you? Yes. But go beyond the hype and say, just how far do you want to take this? Do you want to get rid of a bad habit? Great. There are a lot of production line hypnotists out there who will assist you with that. Do you want to reveal who you really are? Your focus, optimizing those emotions, implementing actions, the right actions at the right time for the right results. Then maybe we should have a conversation to see if I'm the one who can take you to that area where you begin to soar, soar into success. Thank you so much for allowing me to serve you today.